Cancer. I hope that you guys are doing great. I send you all much love and light. Thank you so much for being back here with me. This is another love reading for September. Let's take a look and see what is coming in for your love life. What messages will we receive from Spirit? What do you need to know? My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. Thank you so much for being here with me, you guys. And if you're new, welcome and welcome back. Let's jump right into your reading, Cancer. But first, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light. What is coming in in September? How is your love life looking in September? What is coming in your way? I see the energy uh, where someone is um, gonna choose what they feel is best for them even if it's at the cost of someone's heart i just see um all of this emotion that's here there's like two paths opening up some of you might already be involved with someone and maybe you're on the fence about where you want things to go with that person because maybe there's another person that's come around and presented like an offer to you I, I see that energy here. That's why this Three of Cups is coming in reverse. You might be in that position right now, Cancer, of knowing that you're dealing with someone and maybe dealing with someone else. I know that's not the easiest thing to hear, um, but there's just so much energy of another person interfering in, in the connection between two people. There's also like these synchronicities coming through of 333. Three, three. When you see synchronicities like that, especially these threes, what Spirit is telling you is that you are being guided, but it's also important to ground yourself. To ground yourself and think carefully about the choices that you're making because I just see where someone is being tempted and pulled in another direction so I I have to be honest with you guys I mean I hope that it's your choice to make but I just know where someone is gonna end up being very hurt being very disappointed so if indeed that is your choice to make cancer it's important that you do uh, follow your heart and that you choose wisely, but just know that I, I just see where someone gets hurt in the process. I, I feel for them because I know how deeply it's going to hurt them. It's going to be something that leaves a scar on their heart when this person chooses to go in another direction. Aquarius energy is coming through. You guys might be dealing with an Aquarius, have Aquarius moon or rising. The overall energy that's around you guys though is happiness, is stability, success. Success in relationships, success in careers, success financially. That's why I feel like a lot of this power is yours and it's your decision to make. Um, but unfortunately, someone that is here is going to find out that their person is leaving them for another connection. And if, if you feel like that's what you're on the fence and you're deciding if that's what you want to do, Cancer, the way that I can see you feel about this person is you feel like it's everything that you want. You feel like it's a wish come true. And I know where you um, truly believe that you can have something stable. And I see where you can have a lot of stability in that connection. It's like something that's destined. Some of you might even be in karmic relationships right now, working your way out of them. Some of you could have even um, been the one who this person was unfaithful to you before. Because for some of you, the tables are turning. And although there's a although there's someone who ends up getting 
really hurt. There's also someone who ends up like having their wishes and their dreams come true. So it's very tricky energy for some of you. Some of you already know that you're in this position and you're wondering if you should leave a connection for another one. I can see that if you do that, it it comes at a sacrifice to someone's heart. But you also stand to receive so much happiness. And for those of you that um, are suspecting that your person is involved with someone else, I have to be honest with you and tell you that I see that energy here as well. And I know that that is not the easiest thing to hear, but that's really for those of you that already can feel it deep down that something is not right. There's just like a lot of uh, interference and there's such a happy home that's here. I wonder if some of you just have someone, but this is important because some of you might have someone that just has their eyes on your person and they're trying to take what's yours. So that's also very important for you to keep in mind, especially because I know that you'll be able to feel this and you've probably already been suspicious of it. And if you have, and if you feel like there's someone that's been creeping around, your, your um, instincts and your intuition are not lying to you. They're letting you know that something is not right. I want to look at this three of swords. So no matter how you slice it, there's a lot of energy here of someone who is interfering in, in another person's connection, whether that's this person that two people that you're dealing with cancer, or it's someone who wants to interfere in your connection, or you feel like someone that your person might be involved with someone else. I mean, there's just, it's just the energy is here, three, three, three. It's, it's clear that there's something coming between the two of you. Okay, um, Pisces energy is flying out of the deck. You guys might have Pisces, moon or rising. That energy is also here. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Like I said, some of you, um, this you're gonna find out that this is a karmic connection. And I, I know that that doesn't make it any easier and it's still very painful, but there's just so much energy here of uh, past life energy, balancing the scales, having to go through certain things to balance karma. So where the tables have turned, some of you may feel like um, it's what this person deserves because maybe they did something um, to you before. You know, I, I don't really condone going tit for tat like that, but it's just like, that's the energy that's here. And I can just see where there is um, a grudge that's being held. And because that grudge is so strong, it, it results in someone getting their heart broken. It's very tricky energy because someone gets their heart broken and there's no question in my mind, but then someone else is incredibly happy and they feel like they're on the right path. Let me look at this So if it's your choice to make between the person you're with and maybe the person that you might want to be with, it's important that you um, really balance yourself before you make a decision, Cancer. Because um, there, with all of this karma, it could even be something that ends up backfiring. Backfiring on the person who walks away. That's what I can see. Swords coming in reverse again, and another three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is coming through over and over. That lets us know the depth of the the depth of the ties with this person. There's some of you feel like 
if you're being called in another direction and it's the right thing for you to do. And although it breaks someone's heart in the process, I can see that it is the right thing for you to do to choose that other connection. Um, what you feel for that person is very real and they feel it for you as well. Unfortunately, some of you might be involved with someone who is married, already has a family, already very established because I see all of that energy here. And, you know, I don't judge um, because I know that we are all individuals and we come through in this life to learn and we all are on different journeys. So, you know, I don't, I don't condone um, interfering um, in a family's connection because I just see so much energy here of family. But at the same time, I see the pull that the two of you have towards one another and how you do have these soul ties. You do have these karmic ties. And there is like a mutual dedication that the two of you feel towards one another. That energy is undeniable. I think that some of you are gonna, it's certain relationships that have been rocky and you know that um, are very close to coming to an end. I see them coming to an end, I do. And you know what, it, in the long run, it might be something that is, it's best for you. It's best for you because you have your own person that's going to come your way with your own um, connection. All right, you guys. It's There's a lot of... Um, your reading is kind of complicated because there's just energy flying out in every different direction. There's three people that's here. So it's like from this person's perspective, their perspective, and then another perspective. So I don't want you guys to think I'm taking sides because I'm not. I just have to tell you um, the energy that's here. And the biggest lesson that's here is to balance yourself before you make a choice. Don't um, look before you leap, so to speak. It's really important that you do that. That's why this energy of threes. And look for the signs around you. Look for the synchronicities. Listen to your intuition as the month unfolds. That's the most important takeaway here and to see this two of pentacles coming in is just like the message of balancing your intellect and emotion before you make a decision it's so funny that like the way that someone feels so trapped so imprisoned like this almost feeling like they're in a cage and like they can reach out for what they want but it's like they just can't grasp it it's like it's right there i wonder if some of you are dealing with someone who is in fact imprisoned because i see that energy that's here and and if if you're not because i know that might be just for a few people it's about um the way that this person feels so trapped so guilty but yet knows what they want in their heart and yet thinking of all the sacrifices that they have to make because truly someone's heart is gonna get crushed in all of this and i don't say that to like make anyone feel guilty but that is the bottom line So a lot of important messages, especially if you are wondering if your person is dealing with someone else, the, the energy here is undeniable. And for those of you that are torn between two different people, I can see that you have to look before you leap, but you have to follow your heart. You do. And for those of you that, that feel like someone new has come into your life, it's important to take your time and get to know them because, I mean, just seeing all this energy of someone else being involved in the energy of uh, an established connection looks like a very happy household. I would just say that 
take your time and, and getting to know this person. Don't assume anything. All right, you guys, I don't know the history of pentacles. To see the Gemini energy come in reverse, I know that um, a lot of this is karmic for you guys. And you might be the, see, karma is about balancing the lessons. Either you're on the end that's um, doing it or you're on the end that's receiving it. And it's not a punishment. It's because of what happened in a previous life with someone. The tables turn. So you can see what that was like or, or be on, you know, so you can be on the other end of it. That's all that karma is. It's not a way to punish. It's a way to learn. And I know that these lessons hurt. I know that it is going to hurt someone. But to see this Gemini energy come in reverse, I know that um, someone is going to get their heart broken and someone is going to do the heartbreaking. And it's all um, because of the way the tables are turning. And I do feel for the one who is going to end up so hurt like that. But I also like understand the reason behind it. This is a reading for those of you that already have been suspicious that someone else is in the picture. And this is a reading really for those of you that are torn between two different people. Because it's, it's a lesson for you to follow your heart. And I know that whoever it is that follows like this star, follows this dream that they have, um, they're gonna feel very guilty about their choice. But it's like they're so torn because they know that it was the right thing for them to do. So someone, someone has to do what they feel is best for them. Because, um, what you may not see now is the way that it's going to blossom and grow into something that is very beautiful. I just I just feel for all sides when I see this kind of energy. So you guys will have to do what you feel is best for you. But really just remember to ground yourself and balance your energy, your intellect, your emotion before you make a decision. Because the tables are turning here. The tables are turning and someone is going to follow their heart. And in the process, it, it really hurts another person. Okay, you guys. So that is what I can see coming through for you guys for September. Definitely a lot of lessons here. And, um... I see you finding clarity because it's like it's like a decision that that has to be made especially for those of you that know that this thing is just like hanging on and it's lingering and you need clarity you need direction in order to break free because you know this nine of wands that's the energy of being very stuck and not knowing which direction to go in so for whoever it is that ends up getting hurt I know that you probably don't want to hear this but I know that you might even be dodging a bullet if this person walks away from you. You may not see it now, but in the long run, I know that you will. So it's, it's not an easy reading to hear, but just know how much I love you guys. I truly do. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being here with me. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Don't forget to like the video, comment. Let me know what is going on. Like, because I really wonder which side you're on. Because there's truly like three different people's energy coming through in the reading. Okay, you guys. Thank you for everything. And I will talk to you in a few days.